Hi, Timsy27 here and welcome to this minigames showcase and tutorial video. I like to call this minigame The Passage. Well, I say I like to. That, that name was originally thought of by the person whose concept uh, this minigame originally came from. His name is Brett Juan Lewis, searchable on YouTube. Now, I took his idea and made version 1.0. What you see behind me is version 3.0. Uh, you won't see 2.0, uh, that was done a long time ago on the Xbox 360. <laughs> and this is the PlayStation 4. This will work on any version of Minecraft that has pistons, redstone torches, redstone dust, which is pretty much every version now. Uh, so, I have some test subjects below me. What do you say we watch them? fail miserably. Rightio. So here we are, my two test subjects. Uh, one, one's doing pretty pretty well, the other, the other not so well. Now the basic principle of this game is you've got to go from one end where they are now to the other end and that's one level. Each level consists of two tracks all with pressure plates on every block of that track. Now these pressure plates could be potentially linked up to piston, pistons sorry, that will break up the uh, the wall like, like, like you just seen there right, and potentially push them back into the trench and they will have to do the walk of shame back to the beginning of the level and basically have to do it again. Now as you see here this test subject managed to do it in one go. Well, that, that is possible. Uh, you could try and learn where they are, but you know, you can just fail like that, that even, even if you do know where they are. Now, this is level four. This, this level, this is the mother level, all right? This is meant to be like really difficult. Still possible to do, right? And uh, spoiler alert, later in the video, I do it in one attempt. Just, uh, you know, I'm just saying, you know, test subject, uh, up your game. However, you know, that test subject over there, not doing so hot. Uh, in, let's take a closer look inside, shall we? Now this one, this one, like I said, level four is hard. That one's level one. Should have kind of got past it by now, but they're a noob. Level four, however, let's have a look. Yep, that's, uh, you know, getting angry, getting angry. What are you doing, test subject? Stop getting angry at it. You know, it, it's, it's really not fair, uh, level four, because there are more pistons in this. And hey, 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 I just got shot. What are you doing? Yeah, you sulk away, yeah. You sulk away. Now, let's uh, let's go up top, because the test subject has just informed me that he's doing one last run of this. So let's hope that they do it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Activating every single one on the way, and he's done it. It is possible to do. Just so you see. Congratulations, test subjects, you, you, come on, yeah, that's it, you have earned my trust. Yes, you have. Now, that's uh, watching other people do it. So let's crack on with my footage of doing this. This wouldn't be fair if I didn't show you first person footage of this, so I'm doing it myself. And even though this is level one, you can fall in. Level one's meant to be like a tutorial, you know, you can you can fail it like, like I did there. However, it is pretty easy. It's always meant to be easy like Mario 1-1. One, one. You can still technically die, but you know, it, it's, it's pretty difficult too. Now, one thing to note, this is level three I'm playing right here. You can run out of food. And you will, so you will need to bring food with you. I had to eat free, what's that, cooked mutton? Yep. 
uh, that that was just to get me back up to speed right now my next attempt let's have a look here yes I'm, I'm, I did I did pretty well uh, I had to mute game audio for this uh, for some technical issues here but I like I said earlier I kind of did level four in one go so it is possible on with the tutorial I guess Right, yeah, well, let's crack on with building this, shall we? First off, there are two different ways you could build this. You could build it in the giant square formation, or you could build each level on top of itself to save a little bit of space. So bear that in mind. If you are building this in survival, if you don't have too much space, then you can build the above variant where it stacks on top of itself. If you have enough room, then obviously just proceed with what I'm about to build. So first off, build yourself a little plat starting platform like this, three by three, uh, two off the ground like that. And then you can build, oops, you can build stairs. Going all the way around like this, this is just obviously to start with. Now, you want to build two tracks like this, and these are where your uh, pressure plates will be going. Now, to get because this is level one, you'll want to place stairs here, stairs here, and boosh. You will uh, obviously you need that. Now, right here, put some sort of lighting. Doesn't matter what, just as long as it illuminates. It could be sea lanterns, glowstone, redstone lamps, torches with carpet on top. It does not matter. It's entirely up to you. Same goes for this red clay. Right, and then you'll need to build your wall, which will go right here on both sides. Like this. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that and get rid of that. There we go. Now, obviously, you can put some blocks here too. Both sides. Now, again, you can make like fancy patterns out of this if you want. I'm just using clay just to make it easy. And that's basically it for the actual building part. Very simple. Nothing much to it very resource friendly it's basically just blocks now one thing i don't have prepared uh, let's see i need a pressure plate could be any variant of a pl pressure plate so metal of like whether gold or iron stone or wood does not matter and yeah here we go so this is a very short level. I recommend building this to about at least 30 blocks, going up to about 50. But bear in mind that more you, the longer you make this, the more space it's going to take up, obviously. So I, yeah, so between 30 and 50, that way when you come to add in your pistons later, uh, you know, you can like slowly add more and more and uh, make each level progressively more and more hard, uh, difficult to get through. Now, speaking of pistons, let's say we want our first push block to be here, right? So when I'm stood on this pressure plate, oop, I'll get pushed into here like this. To do that, get your, just get any sort of block, doesn't have to be quartz, and build a little staircase like this. Get rid of these blocks, another one up here. That's four blocks in total, very easy. Redstone, dust right there, redstone torch, torch, torch. That's it, you're done with your redstone. Get rid of that uh, sticky, no, not sticky piston, sea lantern, and put sticky pistons here. Oops, it's easy. And now, as you can see, there we go. You've got one of these working. Now I'm going to just uh, cut to a complete built one of these, or level one. 
Press A. And uh, I'll explain what to do from there. So here we are with level one fully built, which will come to this end bit here. Now, if you are building, if you are building the bigger version, this is how you will make it turn. Obviously, you just build a little three by three floor here, and then build another level. This is forty blocks long, same as this one. But now, if you want, you can just build like a little wall right here. Same blocks that you've used for the levels themselves if you wish, doesn't really matter, it's up to you. These are purely decorative blocks now. <laughs> now what I like to do when I'm building this, doesn't have to be called, but take some sort of like block that you can get rid of later, right? For the first level, you want it to be fairly, fairly easy, like a, hey, what's this game kind of thing, or now you're playing it. Uh, so just like spread them apart. So that one's what? One, two, three, and four. You know, very easy. Level one is meant to be easy. It's like Mario. You know, level one, it's like, oh, okay, there we go. You could still technically fail, but it's very easy to do. How I do this pr with every progressing level is always add two more of these. So that's one, and that's two. Uh, it's three, uh, it's four, it's five, and that's uh, six. Now, you, you don't have to put them like zigzagging like this. You can put them right next to each other if you so choose. But it's uh, probably best to spread them around. When you get to here, at the end, obviously, do what you've done down there, but build it going that way. And when you get to the end there, Go from there over to the beginning, and you basically you got you got yourself a giant square that like the entrance then becomes the exit. So you'll have some red clay just coming off like this, All right? And then you'll be like, hey, yeah, I did it. Oh, look, there's level one. <laughs> you can, if you want, go straight into level four, but I wouldn't recommend that just because you know. Why not? That's uh, that's the game. It's very easy to make. Again, I'll just quickly show you how to make the redstone. It's very easy. Uh, let's just use regular white for this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put that there. Put that there. Again, now you're pretty much done. Redstone. Ah, it was one thing to know. I'm going the other way on this uh, this side, so you'll want to actually get rid of that and get rid of that. So you'll want to put the block on this side as opposed as opposed to the other side. So put the, your redstone torch there, one there, one there, and then here come your sticky pistons. So hello, uh, put them there. So now I know where this sticky piston is because of the. Oops, fell in. I know that I know where it is because of the coal block that I've put there. Oh no, now that I fell in. Okay, now you've got to go walk back. The walk of shame and start again. Alright, so sometimes you'll see what ups just happen here where you'll actually get pushed to the other side. That can happen, but it doesn't always happen. Like like you saw there. So that's basically how to build it or at least the square version. Now let's move on to the larger or the stacked version of this. Okay, so variant two, the stackable version. First off, this may look recognizable to you already. However, start off with your three by three platform that's up above here, build level one. Now for this, I haven't put any pistons or anything that will push you off because it's the same as that so just copy the piston version of that over to this right, run across and then you'll get it then you'll come over to the end of level one now this is where it's different because here obviously this is the end now you can put you can either just build a staircase like either going for up here I'm struggling to place stairs you know, make this staircase lead up to 
basically here where this free by free start platform will be however you want to do that make it go up and then to the right and then to the right again and then connect it to the here if you wish I've made a little drop shoot of slime blocks you can put carpet over these if you wish uh, but this is basically just a proof of concept of like this can be built on top of itself uh, the only the only thing is obviously I've used red clay here you can, and uh, quartz you can use whatever blocks you want uh, just fill this in like this actually, actually you probably don't even need these blocks unless you're worried about what it looks like from the outside however those blocks they'll just be complete in this ceiling here these sea lanterns these will have to be actual light blocks now uh, for level 2 and there's lots of clicking down here uh, don't have to be sea lanterns again glowstone if you can find some way to power the redstone lamps make you can use redstone lamps uh, torches and carpets won't work here however that's again it's up to you how you want to do this put some stairs here maybe like a piston elevator here up to you just get it up to this level and then voila you've got a second level one thing I haven't done here make sure you have stairs so <laughs> can get out uh, so if you come to the end of here after completing the level let's just put the uh, exit here or exit platform even now let's say you made level 2 you could put another drop shoot here of slime blocks just bear that in mind so once you've finished level 2 you actually start and boom there you go you're back at level 1 don't have to build that, it's completely optional. Yeah, like I said, up to you. Okay, here is a fully complete one of a, a version one, the square one. The, as you can see, pistons going all the way around. Like this, kind of does look a little bit ugly. So, here, where your stairs are built, you'll want to build a wall coming out, so that's the wall of the game there, you'll want to build a wall coming out one, two, three, and then build whatever kind of wall you want going along here. One thing to note, I don't have it on my hotbar, this uh, redstone light will be powered by, I think this torch, which powers that block, which powers the redstone lamp. You can use that as part of your cosmetics if you want just note that there'll be few and fewer as you go around unless you want to build some like artificial ones just to make it match that's so completely up to you this wall completely cosmetic going all the way around again cosmetics are up to you and how you want to hide your redstone if you so choose uh here i've built a little glass uh roof you could potentially build some sort of ladder to this roof so people can get on top and watch like I did in the showcase so obviously there's no one going around here right now but as you can see you know it would be fun to watch people fail <laughs> and that's that, that's my little uh, game so thanks for watching if you liked it then smash it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video, peeps. Bye-bye.